Welcome back, this is gb 4 k and this is XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Before we get started, I'd like to say thank you for stopping by. If you could leave a like and subscribe to my channel, much appreciated. Also, share this on your favorite form of social media. That also helps grow the channel a great deal, and that would be also appreciated. And if you like, that's if you like me doing all these guides and stuff like that. It helps grow this channel and it helps me do this stuff more often. So that out of the way, let's begin. This is about the the various difficulties, the menu screen itself, and yeah. So let's start from here, from the back here. This is the news unlock from you know two gay games. You know, you know how what that word is. This extra, the desktop, and the character pool. Now, the character pool, if you like a character from your playthroughs, you can put them in here. Or if you just want to make a character, like your friends, your family, and you um, put them in here, you label them. And uh, they'll be a part of your character pool. You can even import other people's character pools. I don't know why I just keep it in the uh, create. Yeah. Uh, that's basically it for the character pool. There's not that much I want to talk about the character pool because I feel like I want you got you guys should explore that and have your fun with it and figure that out. Much like the options menu, the options menu is basically, well, what's your best um, your gameplay interface, your key bindings, your various bibs and bobs on that. Then there's the legacy hub, and that's if you have the legacy stuff unlocked. It's basically uh, no strategy, strategic layer. It's just pure combat pure battlescape so if you want to just go into a match and just fight it out and then be my guest then load game is explanatory you hit that you load a game but now let's get to the meat of this episode of my tips and tricks on XCOM 2 and that is the new game now first up is the difficulty it's rookie then veteran the commander then legendary these are the four uh, difficulties. Uh, rookie is the easiest, and Legend is the hardest. And Command is the second, you know, and you know how it else is. So. It's sort of self explanatory. Veteran, I would recommend for people who've played XCOM 1, uh, who've played a lot of strategy games and are, and are just new to it, I would recommend you play it on Veteran, your first playthrough. Or if you feel enlightened, like, you know, like you want to be adventurous, then Commander. And for other people who, like, know what they're doing and are confident in themselves, I would I would recommend Legend. But I would put this like a little asterisk, like, be, but be aware, Legend extends all of pretty much the entire campaign by a few months. So you'll be playing it longer then you would be playing it on the other difficulties just saying also there is no shackling the AI the AI will basically have free reign to do just be as nasty as XCOM X AI can be and uh, yeah I would not recommend legend for your first playthrough if you're relatively new to this game I would recommend it for like your third your fourth playthrough and you feel like you can do it uh yeah that about does it rookie i would recommend that for some people who are new who just really really new who aren't sure of themselves yet and because this can be this is a harder game than xcom enemy unknown slash within so if you feel like you can't if you're struggling on veteran then try rookie that's my recommendation. Now let's look at the uh, let's toggle the options here. Now beta strike greatly increases the HP of units. Tactical for longer tactical engagements. Now that includes their units, the enemy units, and your units. So they'll they'll be shooting at it for a while. Um, I don't normally pick that because. It takes. I, I feel like the engagements last long enough for me to be like, yeah, that's that's good, that's good. But it adds a level of tactics to the game that it wasn't there before. 
So if you want to pick that, uh, be my guest. Reaper Ally and uh, Skirmisher Ally and Templar Ally, those are basically the three new classes, advanced classes. I would uh, recommend you pick, you play the game a bit and see which one of them you like. Then click on uh, this one. Uh, the thing about it is, Reaper is really strong in the early game. Skirmisher is decent in uh, the mid to late game. And the Templar is uh, excellent all around. Actually, all of them are pretty good in the late game. But I feel like Reaper, the Reaper stands out in the early game for, for their uh, invisibility. For their um, ability to use stealth better than the other classes. Then there's Grim Horizons. Dark events are permanent. Do not pick this unless you want to experience true pain. That's all I'm, I will say about it. Length of schemes double the, the length of Avatar projects. Uh, this is for people who struggle with the Avatar project and the timers, turn timers too. Those, again, these are for people who struggle with the time, um, the timers, and they realize that and they decided to add this to the game to make it less painful. If you want to pick it, um, be my guest. I especially, I, I would recommend Time Turner for new people because it makes those timers in, in mission less painful and less tough to deal with. So I would highly recommend Time Turner. Uh, precision Explosives. Uh, makes uh, nerfs grenades so instead of being three like three or four damage across the board it's only three to four damage on the center square of the explosion and it basically uses turns them into cover destroyers and that's about it they'll do a little bit of damage but and strip some armor off but that's about it they're not going to be like the destroyers they were if you take a if you if you nerf them like this yeah which is fair it depends on how you play now this all depends on your play style and i would recommend time turner for new people and lengthy scheme also for new people so in case you're struggling it helps you in case you're struggling next is tutor tutorial i would recommend the tutorial for people who are just first playing this and also do not reduce beginner VO uh, for new people because you're still learning so have this on but after you gotten confident shut off all this stuff you know you're good uh, and show subtitles in case you want to see this what people are saying and finally let's get to the thing that will excite some of you the soundtrack you can switch it to enemy unknown Yeah. Or you can switch it to UFO Defense. Yeah, the old school UFO Defense. Yeah. I might play that on the channel one day. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know what? Let's leave it on that for a while. Now, Iron Man is only for people who have played this game before, in my opinion. If you haven't played this game before, start without Iron Man. You'll learn the game. You need you need time to make mistakes. Iron Man doesn't let you make mistakes. You have to play perfectly almost. Uh, you can make a few mistakes here and there, but once you make those mistakes, those are just on you. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, start without Iron Man. And um, here's the next part: optional narrative content. You can turn on Lost and Abandoned. This is the War of the Chosen uh, story content. You can push this X and it'll... Yeah, you can push it and you can enable it or disable it. Or you can disable the down integrate download. That basically means all the story missions aren't there anymore. If you push this. For the other two DLCs. But if you take it off 
Uh, you're, you can push these to activate them. If you take them all off, I think you don't even... Yeah, you won't you won't even get this stuff. I haven't tested it myself, but uh, I would recommend you turn on these two because the story, the missions are pretty easy to do once you do them after after you do them the first time, they become easier to do in the second time. And then I think that does it. Yeah, yeah, that does it. All right, that does it for this episode. I thought I'd do this one of the menus because it can be a bit confusing, and I wanted to give you like a, a quick like tutorial on how to navigate it. And uh, if you want any more tutorials on XCOM 2, or if you want a tutorial on XCOM 1, um, the Enemy Within or Enemy Unknown, put it in the comments because I read the comments regularly. So. If you put something in there and say like, hey, I'm having trouble on this part of the game, could you like give a, like a quick tutorial? I will do that uh, as quick as you blink. Well, not that quick. That'd be pretty fast. I'm not, I'm not the Flash or anything like that. But I'll do it as fast as I possibly can. Barring life and you know, work and other things. But you guys take priority. Well, not really. If like something like big happens, like somebody tries to take over the world with laser guns or something like that, I'm probably going to be busy. Like you know, let's be real here. Laser gun world domination trumps you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Like if it would, if it wasn't the laser thing, I might be like, ah, eh, we'll, we'll we'll sort it out. But if it's the laser guns, I'm like, oh man, I better like buy up all the toilet paper in the world <laughs> what, what was the toilet paper why did they do that during the it, it, I digress I'll catch you in the next one this has been CBH 4k this has been XCOM 2 War of the Chosen bye bye